Hi, this is Raheem Zulfikar Ali. So in this video, we will learn about logical function that is if. So let's get start. When do you use if function or nested if? So basically logical functions are used whenever a user wants to take or um, to make a decision. So primarily uh, the use of uh, logical functions like if, nested if, and an or combination are used when the user wants to do decision making, right? Now we have a simple example, a uh, basic example for if, and then we will move towards the nested if so that I can clear your concept. So nested if uh, or the if, Nested if means multiple ifs in one cell. So when you write more than one ifs in one cell, it's called nested if. And you can write maximum of 64 ifs in one cell. Okay, that will be called nested if. So nested if is not a separate function. It's a, a terminology that if a user puts more than one if in one cell, it's called nested if. And in the latest version, because in the earlier version, the user needs to put if again and again and again. Uh, but now we have in the latest version, we have ifs, which is exactly works like a nested if but their arguments are less and effective also so we start first with the if if is very simple first let's read the uh, scenario we have two columns student names and their scores and we have to take a decision that if a student has taken more than 50 or equals to 50 marks the per that student will get a pass remarks and if, if the student has got a score below 50 the student will get a result like fail okay so in the if we have three function arguments as you can see the first one is logical test upon successful of the logical test the value of if true will return in the cell and if the logical test gets unsuccessful or fail then the value false will return okay so let's define so if b2 is greater than equals to 50 so we are writing in an excel language that check the b2 if it is greater than equals to 50 then if this logical test is successful we want pass so we will write the word passed with an inverted commas because it's a text and we will put pass in the value of true right and the vice versa definitely will be the fail which will go in the value of false argument and then we will close the round bracket now we have to copy and paste the the function and then all the results ap appropriately to the scores will be visible so we can see that Chargeel has not passed but if we manually i mean change the score of any other student so definitely the result will get changed right so this was the simple if also note that we have few expression which we use in uh, if and nested if so these expressions are like less than sign greater than sign equal sign less than an equal sign greater than an equal sign and not equals to sign okay now let's move towards the nested if example here we have a data set in which we have three columns employee number name and regions and we need to allocate the bonus percentage in the cell based on the regions so there are multiple conditions and based on multiple conditions we need to check one by one so if any region in in, in a cell gets true that percentage will reflect in the bonus cell okay so this is a kind of a looping nested what nested if does it's, it's do looping until we get the true result in the cell okay how to write the nested if is like so let's start with the first logical test if the c2 is equals to not for example we are checking that if c2 contains north then provide 20 percent which is in g5 cell and we will make it absolute so that once we complete this nested if and when we drag this uh, formula downward so the cell should not get disturbed as we have uh, previously uh, clear our concepts regarding relative and absolute reference in uh, in the first module right now here now we have just a last argument that is value false and we have still three criteria to be filled in okay so we will start one more if now again and again we will check that if c2 is equals to south so if c2 contains uh, this spelling south it's not case sensitive if you write in capital it, it will still go and match that word in the cell so if c2 is equals to south then the user wants 30 percent right and make it absolute by pressing f4 for the third condition if c2 is equals to east 
then we want 40 percent and the last condition is if c2 is equals to west then the user wants 50 percent and now the last argument we will close for if false so for example if user writes an incorrect spelling or user uh, leaves blank that cell so we want a customized text like not available which we will write in inver inverted commas and remember that uh, the number of brackets which are open in the nested if will be closed in the same quantity at the last okay and we will copy and paste so you can see that uh, in one entry there is not available because spelling of the west is not correct right so this was the concept of nested if thank you